I left my previous career in the fitness industry to become a farmer in a full-time homestead. And I really love it. I really do. Yet sometimes, even if you love something, doing the same thing day in and day out in the mundane can wear you down mentally and physically. And then you add some challenges on top of that, it can beat you down. doing that well. Man, it's like we're just two days away from processing these chickens and I'm starting to lose some to the heat, the heat. The same batch, I lost like 30 from the cold and now I'm starting to lose some from the heat. Oh man. Well, that's just part of the job. Gotta keep moving forward because there's a lot of other animals to take care of here. Each morning, every member of the family has morning chores to do. My main responsibility is to take care of all of our meat animals. And as I'm doing that, my wife Lacey and eldest daughter Sayla are taking care of our dairy goats. And our two sons, Josiah and Micah, each have a flock of their own of chickens to take care of. And as I'm going about my chores, tending me? to yes, the meat animals, Thank you. I gather up the waterers, the feeders, and bring them up. And Micah, after he's done, he usually helps me out with filling up the waterers. In addition to the meat birds that we're raising in the chicken tractors, I also have meat ducks. We have these meat ducks that are in a transition brooder, and then we have another set of meat ducks that are in our primary brooder. And then as I head in to take care of those, I see, man, we caught another rat. Take care of this here in a minute. like we're using insta-kill traps but we're also using these traps and I'm gonna have to deal with this rat too so I just like all right we got the chicken we'll set it to the side we'll deal with it in a little bit and then we have this rat oh, oh, we'll just set it to the side and we'll deal with it in a little bit but we got to keep feeding providing feed and water to our animals Working those muscles. You're working those muscles on the farm, that farm stream. You know what they say about those farm boys. <laughs> I wasn't a farm boy growing up. And some other guys like lifting weights and all that on the football team and then we'd always be amazed at how strong the farm boys were because they didn't lift weights. But in actuality they did. They lift hay bales and feed and all kind of stuff all day long. And they just came out strong and ate a lot of good food.
And if you didn't know, we also have a lot of mature ducks and some more little baby ducks. Some Muscovies. We have so many ducks here. I'm starting to think I'm turning into a duck. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. Do you have a visitor? Where did you get that? <laughs> I try to keep it fun around here despite the daily grind and sometimes feeling like you just don't want to do something. Well, the Muscovies that I was just telling you about, we found a little problem with them too. Hey, baby. Yeah? It's so cool how calm they are. Our other ducklings would have already like run off the picnic table by now. But these Muscovies, they are really quiet and uh, they just will kind of hang out with you. Although, they are a little vicious to one another. I think they got a little hungry and they started pecking at each other's wings until they bled. So that was a new experience for us. We thought they were getting cut on something inside the duck tractor. There are a couple that are cut. How are they getting cut? Is there screw sticking out somewhere I'm not seeing or what is going on here? Yeah, blue. That was like they're ripping their feathers out. I wonder if they're hungry. We'll see. but actually they were making each other bleed, which is a little gross. And the last set of birds that I'm taking care of are in this John Siskovich style chicken tractor that I recently built. And inside here, we have heritage turkeys as well as heritage Delaware broiler chickens. And I really like this feeder trough that I recently got. So we're done with feeding all the animals. And since we don't have a lot of pasture, well, frankly, we don't have any pasture around here. We're just doing the best that we can working with the grass areas that we have. So. I'm getting my walking in at the same time. I bet you didn't know that you can burn 200 to 350 calories per hour just walking. In addition to carrying stuff around, so I'm doing a farmer's walk and walking. Getting a lot of stuff done. And right after finishing my chores, Sayla comes running over and says, Daddy, something attacked one of our mature ducks. Oh man. Something just ripped his head and neck off. It's terrible. Oh. On our main farm working days, 
After we do our chores, we typically work on some kind of project together as a family. So I guess it was just fitting since the ducks were having problems, we needed to create some kind of protection from them because I think it was some kind of aerial predator or something that got the duck and ripped his head off. So maybe, just maybe, because they do have electric fence around them. So we started setting up pallets as some shelter and protection for the ducks. So, about this time of day, it starts getting pretty hot and humid around here. It's like, oh boy. And this is the time of day that we usually start either doing a project in the shade or inside the house, just because it can be pretty rough working outside in this heat and humidity here. But after we got done with the pallet shelters, next, Lacey brought out this bird that we've been taking care of inside the house. The bird had ran into our window, one of the windows in our house, and it couldn't fly. So we're trying to get it on the mend. And as Lacey was bringing it outside, well, it wasn't quite an easy transition. It kept getting out of her hands. I think we may put it in a cage out here before we let it go. Cause I don't know if it can fly. No, I know you don't like it. I'm sorry you don't like it. I'm trying to help. Look at his tail feathers. They're not even fully out. See, there's, they're still pretty <laughs> No. Feisty. You'll make sure you keep your fingers back. I was really concerned that this little girl, I think it's a female cardinal, um, had a broken wing because every time <laughs> It got out of my hand it would just run away or hop away and wouldn't fly but since we have it in this bigger carrier and we gave it some branches uh, it's been kind of fluttering up on the branches and using its wings so you know good news there because you know I don't want it to be hurt but I think it's a fledgling because not all the tail feathers are fully out so I just think it was a case of um, bad piloting maybe <laughs> What a way to start the day, right? Man, and on top of all this that we've dealt with today, it's also knocking on the doors of triple digits. Actually, all of this week. And we haven't had rain in quite some time. So we really could use the rain right now. And I gotta make sure that our animals don't overheat. I don't wanna lose any more to the heat. So I gotta stay on top of their water and just watch them. So I just really wish that it would rain and things would just cool down right now. Man, it's just cool down, please. <gasps> I guess if you ask for it, you should expect to receive it, right? 
Careful what you wish for. Careful what you wish for. I guess I needed to cool down a little bit because I was getting a little, a little on edge with everything that was going wrong. So thanks a lot, dudes, for keeping me cool. <laughs> oh, see you next time.